Now, this prayer is very, very important concerning Betel as we are entering into the seventh uh, sabbatical period known as Wetito, Bamarinya, Namharic, and Wayyite, or Vayyite, if according to the Ashkenazi pronunciation, Wayyite, uh, Wetito, which means coming out. Now, Bethel, as we mentioned, or Beit El, it becomes because of Yaakov's vision, his Rai, there, one of the significant places in the Metha for the scriptures. To the Christian, Meshahawian, the anointed, it stands for a realization, a realization, however imperfect, of the heavenly, the Samayawi and the Menfasawi contents of the Yizota of Imnet, answering to Hawaria Paulos' prayer, the prayer that we just read from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 to 23. Now, Bamarinya, we need to go over it in Amharic Paul's prayer. It's a very important prayer. Besama'ab, where well, where manifest, caduce, ahadu, amlak. What a face on so och, raf an, kakut erasara, mista, iska, iski kut era haya sauce. In the milo, selezi ne degmo be inante zena selemihon, be gita be yasusa sele mamena, lek dusan hulua selemihona maudeda semiche, selenante ya mesegen hu. Sitalia Selenante Masa Sebin Ala Tawum Yakubur Rabata Yegetachinya Yesus Christo Sam Lakar Suna Bemawek Yet Babina Ye Magalet in Memphis and Dia Set Achu Eleminalo Yehima Ye Labachu Ainocha Si Baru Ye met ratu a tesva min in the hona bek dusanim azenda yalo, ye rista kubura ballet egeneta min in the hona le minamina kahulu bemia bellit a ye hailu atalak neta min in the hona tauku zendno. Christos nema komutana siyasa nesawa ka alek netna ka sultanema ka hailema ka get netimo hulua belayina bezi alema bicha saihon negergin limeta balo alema degmo wa kamiat arawa sem hulu belay desemayawi sifra bekenyu Siyasak emtowa be Kristo sa badarrego wa sera ye bertatua gulbeta itayal. Hulu ne maka grubeta cha asa gezaleta ko hulu wa belaye maras indihon le beta kristiana seto. Arswama akaluna huluna be hulu wa ye miya mola ye arsua mulatu nat. Turgum, the translation being, Hawariya Paulos' prayer, I have heard of your faith in Gita Yesus and your love toward all the Kedusa and the Holy Ones, the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Gita Yesus Christos, the Father, of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, as you come into the gnosis, the, the gnosis of him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened or illuminated, you may know, have gnosis of what is the hope or expectation to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the Kedusan or the saints, the holy ones? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who admit in truth according to the working of his great power? Elohim put this power to work in the Mashi or Christos, the anointed Christ, 
when he raised him from the mutan or the dead ones, the duat, and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, the celestial places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head or the ras over all things for the Beta Christian or the church, the house of the anointed ones, the Beta Meshahawiyan, which is his body, Akalu, the fullness of him, the Mulatu or the Pleroma, who fills all in all. Erswam Akaluna Hulun Behulu Yemiyamola Yersu. Mulatunat. Now, see this prayer. This prayer is important for us to, to to focus on right here, as we're learning from the study notes. These are the study notes for the seventh sabbatical uh, parasha or kufl, the portion, the feeding and the reading. Now, dispensationally concerning the Beit El, the scene speaks of Israel, the nation. Cast out of the land of promise, test for hope, expectation because of evil doing there, but holding the promise, the test for the expectation, the hope of restoration and barakat and blessing. Now, this concerns us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel, even in this prophetic. Time. This is why we have to redeem the times because the days are evil. Redeem the time and to keep the sin bed, to remember, to remember to keep the sin bed. Yet to get this. Now, Genesis um, 28 and 15 and Deuteronomy 30 uh, verses 1 to 10 also has references from the Scofield. So, this is very important right here, this particular sabbatical study, the seventh. To quote, an Israelite indeed, end quote, Christ, the Mashi, the anointed, or the Cherui, the chosen, the elect, speaks of Yaakov's Rai, speaks of Jacob's vision as to be fulfilled in the Son of Man, in and through Lij Teferi, in and through Ras Teferi, according to Genesis 28 and 12 and John chapter 1, verses 47 to 51. So this is just the beginning of the seven sabbatical reading and feeding and study, the parasha right here, that begins with the key words in Genesis 28 and 10, and Yaakov went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. He went toward Haran. Now, it also speaks, as we go forward to the 29th chapter, because this reading is from Genesis 28 and 10 to Genesis 32 and 3, and this is, a, this is an overview right here, that in chapter 27, Yaakov's years at Haran are very, very interesting. And a reminder to the Dek Amazamorin disciples to look up the names. When you come across various names in the text, look up these names and look up the meanings. A good um, reference is the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. A good reference that we would advise, the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. But of course, the basic is the Schofield study and the Schofield reference to look behind the words, where the words come from and what are the meanings on the record for these for these names, like what does Yaakov really mean, and Beit El Bethel mean, and Padan Aram mean, what does Kanaan mean, what does Abraham mean, what does Yisahak mean, what does these what do these names mean? Now here, speaking of Yaakov at Haran, there is a striking illustration, according to the mythos, if not a type of the nation descended from him, speaking of us, because this is our ancestor, in its present 
long dispersion, in our present long dispersion. You see, our history as so-called black folks over here goes beyond even the 400 years over here in, in the Americas, in the wilderness of the Americas. It, it's, it's much, much longer than that. Some people think, oh, we just come from West Africa, and that's where it began. No, it is much longer. There's a longer dispersion for us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. Now, like Israel was, like Israel, he was one, speaking of Ya'ikob at Haran, he was one out of the place of blessing. He was two without an altar. He was three, he gained an evil name. Fourthly, was under the covenant care of Yahweh. Fifthly, and was ultimately brought back. In other words, was ultimately redeemed. This is speaking of our redemption and our kinsman redeemer. 